sports merchandising giant Fanatics closing a $320 million funding round uh, this morning. The raise bumps the company's valuation at $12.8 billion. That's more than double uh, the previous level uh, from just last August. Joining us now is Michael Rubin, executive chairman of Fanatics. I, I don't think you said it, Michael, but some people think this is probably the last round of financing you'll need before you do something else like go public. Look, I think that's definitely a possibility. I mean, right now we're 100% focused on just building the most incredible company possible. Uh, I think going public is an option for us that, you know, we talk about a lot, but it's not something we're focused on today. We're focused on building the business, but I think we're well financed and have a lot of growth capital to uh, continue to grow. What are you going to use it for exactly? And you would think that given the pandemic year, you wouldn't need to be doing a lot of investment, but you had your, by far your best year ever. Yeah, 2020 was incredible. Even without having sports for five months, our, our global e-commerce business was up more than 20%. This year, uh, global e-commerce is up over 30% so far year to date. But we're continuing to build our capabilities as we uh, grow the kind of vertical commerce merchandise business. Uh, we made two acquisitions uh, since our last financing round to go from being able to um, verticalize apparel to be able to verticalize both apparel, headwear, and hard goods. And that was a big step forward for us. Did the big deal with Barnes Noble, which we're excited about. So we continue to invest aggressively in addition to growing the existing business. You got any plans to do anything with, with NFTs? They're, they're obviously a big deal for, for sports. Do you believe in the whole concept, Mike? Yeah, look, I really do believe in the concept. I think we are in like the early, early, early days. And my prediction is that, um, you know, with everyone gets into a space and, you know, you and I have seen this so many times. You have you just see a flood of people getting in, into it, and then I think a few great companies emerge. I think it represents a big opportunity overall, and I think one that uh, you can certainly see us capitalize it, you know, in over time. I think in general, one of the incredible things about FedEx, we have more than 80 million reachable fans. We'll do more than 40 million e-commerce transactions this year, and the ability to leverage that fan base to to, to create other incredible businesses and sports is something we're really excited about. And certainly, NFTs is one that we're spending a lot of time studying. So what would you do besides apparel? What, what, what do you, you got novelty yet? What, what's really the big growth that's vertical? And not, I mean, I just go into, I, I watch these college guys. Um, and I, I mean, I like the 76ers. I watch, you know, I like all the NBA teams. You but. like the Sixers. The Sixers are your team. I don't want to even like the Sixers. We're your team. Okay. All right. Nine out of ten. You're going to, uh, speaking of, of which, uh, are you going to do anything before Thursday's trade deadline? Do you need to do anything? Look, I think we're really well positioned and, uh, you know, t time will tell, but the team's in a great spot and, uh, you know, we continue to have one goal in mind, which is how do you bring a championship to the city of Philadelphia? That's the only thing that, you know, our ownership group focuses on and that, that our coach and general manager focus on. So that, you, that's uh, you can do the only it with priority. The, you do it with the personnel you, you have now, in, in your view? Big win last night, but no, no Steph Curry, right? Yeah, and, and also uh, no Joel Embiid on our end either. Look, I mean, we're, we, we feel like we've taken good steps forward and we're going to continue to do everything possible to bring a championship to Philadelphia. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.